You wanna make that $150 an hour, but all you've got is your laptop and your microcontroller. Here's some insane DIY manufacturing equipment that you can buy next. Let's go. Shop Air is super handy because you're gonna to wanna to blow off chips and power some of your machines with air. You can get a compressor for super cheap. Bridget the Bridgeport here comes in super handy for drilling and milling and also changing and fixing and improving anything that you might have ordered from an external CNC machining house. You can sort of fix a lot of stuff with a Bridgeport mill. A lathe is so important to electronics and fluids. Basically, if something is round, whether that's a coil bobbin or it has to seal because it's round, like a fitting, you have to spin that on an axis and make a smooth surface. You use a lathe to do that. My customers and I are always impressed by a press. I broke the rest of this press tool to show just how powerful these machines are. You can rework sheet metal from an external vendor. It comes in super handy for that. I encourage you to accumulate a few press tools that you can find very, very inexpensively on eBay or at HGR. Who doesn't want a fiber laser? You can do so much with this machine. It's 30 watts of pure bliss. And $3,500 of worthless currency, if you know what I'm saying. You won't miss that money when you can literally print it back by etching and cutting metal this fast. If your settings are right, you can also cut 10 thousandths thick 301 spring steel. This is hugely valuable when making small mechanisms and gas fluid type system stuff. But Jason, what about a 3D printer? Don't worry, I got you covered. I suggest a print farm of several printers that you know, like, and trust. That means in my case, the Bamboo A1. I've gone through so many printers over the years. This is just the trend right now. I love these printers. I'm sure in two years we'll have something completely different, but check these out. Here's one strategy for your little print farm you might want to pursue. Assign an hourly rate. Maybe it's 10 bucks an hour. Try to keep these things running all day long for your customers so that you're selling stuff, little parts that you could otherwise outsource, but you sell them directly to your customers. These could be non-cosmetic parts that go inside of prototypes or even production parts that go into finished goods that you don't see. Non-cosmetic is the key there. The other thing, you want to make sure that when there's downtime on your printers, you're not selling stuff that's being made on them, that you're making your life easier. This is a little fixture that goes into some 80-20 rail. I catted this up. Yes, you have to learn CAD. And this saves the day. This makes my life so easy for the project I have to work on. Here's the business case for what I just laid out. You're not going to make this. You're going to aspire to this. 70 hours a week, $150 an hour, 50 weeks out of the year, two weeks vacation, 525 k you got four printers, two of which are running half time, 10 bucks an hour, 630K a year. This is literally running uphill every day. You want to invent your own products. We'll talk about that later. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Adios.